Hello everybody Welcome to lecture 27 which is the last lecture of our course Computing, Ethics and Society In this lecture we are gonna complete the chapter 9 the professional ethics and responsibility we are gonna talk about scenarios and how to analyze these scenarios we have two phases of the scenarios analysis the first phase is the brainstorming phase in this phase you will need to list all the people and organizations affected we call them stakeholders then you have to list risks issues problems and consequences after that you have to list the benefits identify who gets each benefit finally in cases where there is no simple yes or no decision but rather one has to choose some action then list possible actions the second phase is the analysis phase in this phase you have to identify the responsibilities of the decision maker then identify rights of stakeholders next you have to consider the impact of the options on the stakeholders such as consequences risks benefits harms costs etc after that you need to categorize each potential action as ethically obligatory prohibited or acceptable finally when there are multiple options select one considering the ethical merits of each courtesy to others practicality self-interest and personal preferences in the following you have about 15 scenario each scenario talk about some case we are gonna go through them and we will discuss one of them the first scenario is protecting personal data scenario 2 email system with targeted advertisement 3 webcams in, so in school laptops 4 publishing security vulnerabilities 5 specifications 6 schedule pressure safety critical 7 schedule pressures product to market 8 software license violation 9 going public 10 release of personal information 11 conflict of interest 12 kickbox and disclosures 13 a test plan 14 artificial intelligence and sentencing 14 artificial intelligence and sentencing and the last one is a gracious host so let us discuss this one the last one in this scenario suppose you are the computer system administrator for a mid-sized company you can monitor the company not work from home and you frequently work from home your niece a college student is visiting for a week she asks to use your computer to check her email sure you say sure you say then what is required from you you have to analyze this scenario using the brainstorming and analysis methodology you are being a gracious host what is the ethical problem here maybe there is none maybe you have an excellent firewall and excellent 
antivirus software maybe you remember that you are logged in to your company system and you logged out before letting your niece use the computer maybe your files are passwords protected and create a separate account on your computer for your niece but maybe you did not think about security when your niece asked to use the computer your niece might not intentionally snoop or do harm in actual incident someone in the family of a mortgage company employee signed up for a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service and did not properly set the options indicating which files to share the mortgage application information for a few thousand customers leaked and spread on the web so you must always be alert to potential risks mixing family and work applications poses risks so by the end of this lecture we reach to the end of the course and I hope you get benefits studying this course and you enjoyed studying this course and learn uh, a lot of information and see you in other course goodbye